Hey guys, SK here, back with another Clash Royale video, hope you guys are all doing well, and today it is time for another one of you guys' favorite series here on the channel, it is the Road to 9000 Trophies with Through Pernox with Cycle series, this is going to be episode 5, 6, or 7, one of those, honestly I kind of lost track, but we are nearing the end of the road guys, this is going to be the second last episode, if it goes well. Because I'm starting at about 8,700, and I'm going to be stopping around 8,850 or so, so that in the last episode I can kind of get the final five games or so. So it's going to be, you know, pretty close, I guess. Kind of sad, like, this is actually a really fun series. I'm just going to expo, honestly, because my archers are higher level than his. That's a misplaced knight, so that's already a good game, actually, like... I don't really know what he is doing. Uh, I can just fireball the firecracker. Skeleton, sketch the barb barrel. Okay, sadly, didn't have enough elixir in time, or else I would have gotten even more damage, but it's fine. Like, my opponent is just not playing this well, and honestly, that's been my experience with Path of Legends. Or Trophy Road, rather. Path of Legends honestly feels harder than Trophy Road to me. I don't know why. It's just like, Trophy Road, every game is pretty easy. Like, I have lost a few in this series, I think, but I don't think I've lost more than five, like, overall, from... 7,200 up to like wherever I am now like I really don't think I have because it's just not too difficult um, And people don't really play that well also this guy is like pretty under leveled for the first match here He's also just spamming everything at the bridge, which is really easy to just defend uh, I'll probably just take this and I don't want to log either because I know he has a skeleton barrel So I'd rather keep that safe for whatever I need to use it for later Say he goes like skelly barrel to punish and also because he spammed so much elixir there I feel like I can just go for an expo right now and he's gonna be kind of low um, goes for a knight. Okay, I'll just knight to predict. Say he has a building or something. Oh, he got the firecracker. Uh, bar barrel, sadly, can't really do much about it. I'll log, actually, this time. I feel like log on offense is warranted, because even if you go skelly barrel, I can defend without log, right? So I'm not going to waste it on something like archers, but I can use it to pressure um, if I get a good expo opportunity. And we do get a nice lock. Good skeleton is just to tank for the expo a little bit more. And I'm going to expo again, because I have Evo Knight now, so I think he's playing either Evo Mortar or Evo Firecracker. Probably Evo Mortar to be honest like it's pretty good um but i've like expo and if i can force him oh yeah, he doesn't have evil firecracker if i can force him to go for the evil motor on defense that would be even better for me we get a baby expo lock right there like one tick and to me even one tick does count as a lock um gonna expo again evil knight is surviving for so long yep there's the evil motor second one so next one's gonna be evo but he hasn't really had the opportunity to play that many oh great log sadly my log isn't level 15 yet guys so i am not gonna be able to one shot those archers that would be really funny um I'll just test it like this. Notice this placement, by the way. Very nice trick against Skeleton Barrel. Or rather, against Firecracker plus a push. Say they go for, like, a Hog Firecracker against Hog EQ. Or just now the Skelly Barrel Firecracker. You want to play your Tesla in that placement that I showed you there. And you can actually activate Kings. So if you guys missed it, you can rewind. But that's a really nice little... Uh, that you can use. I'm gonna go archers just because I don't want this evil motor to lock onto tower. Even though like my tower is really healthy, one evil motor gets like 500 damage on the tower. I think just because the goblin does so much as well. Anyway, he spammed everything. Like his entire push is gone. He has no evil motor in cycle. He has no knight to tank for the expo. I think it's pretty much over. Gonna ice spirit for the barbell skeletons once it gets retargeted and then pre-log on whatever he goes for okay nothing much but i mean it's pretty much over that's two fireballs and like it's pretty this game wasn't even close my opponent also didn't really play well at the start like he was way too aggro so i just got a nice lock and he also miss or he wasn't even aggro actually he just misplaced stuff like i don't know it's usually one of those things right they either misplay stuff or more commonly if you get a lock that early on they're just too aggressive and you can punish them but yeah i just have to get back to a fireball for this so that's going to be a really easy first win against evil motor skeleton barrel like kind of a interesting matchup i feel like it's probably my matchup anyway but my opponent certainly didn't play it the best so nice first win of the video Alright guys, into our next match against Scott B, and you will notice that this, the last game was recorded like a couple weeks ago in August, I don't know why I just decided to like get one episode of the Road to 9k in, and now it's like September and I'm recording again, but you know, it is what it is, just gonna fireball the Mother Witch, Skeletons will help against that pig, hopefully doesn't get too much damage, maybe one headbutt, okay, gets one, that's whatever, um... Mother Witch doesn't tell me too much. It could be Royal Giant. Okay, Mother Witch Firecracker. I'm actually just going to expo on the left just to find out what he has, you know. Uh, Mother Witch Firecracker is pretty unorthodox. Goes for the Bandit too. He okay, it looks like Heal Sp uh, or it looks like Bridge Pam. Obviously, it's a Heal Spirit. doesn't look like Heal Spirit. Uh, Ice Spirit to activate off the Firecracker. Beautiful. And then he goes for a Ram. That's actually going to jump the river. And I'm going to go Skeletons even though he has Mother Witch because they will die to the Ram. So it's actually no risk at all. Plus, that would have gotten a charge if it didn't go Skeletons. That was really perfect kind of orchestration 
situation there because uh, the Ram Rider kind of killed the skeletons so that the Mother Witch couldn't really punish and spawn any pigs. Uh, but this looks like a really weird Ram Rider Bridge Bam deck. Like, not really sure what it's about. Um, I guess, like, Ram Rider Bridge Bam never really runs Firecracker. Uh, wait, why does he have a Battle Ram? Okay, so he's playing double Rams, I guess. Like, Battle Ram plus Ram Rider. Um, I don't know if this means if he has, uh, like, I don't know if he has a P.E.K.K.A. or something. I'm going to Expo to find out. Let's see if he has, like, P.E.K.K.A., Mega Knight, whatever. Okay, looks like he does not, actually. Going to Ice Spirit to retarget. Oh, he has E-Barb, so that's going to be a dead Expo. I'll just go Skeletons to kite them into the Knight and log for the Heal Spirit. Okay, that's not going to log in time, sadly. But thankfully, the Knight still walks over, and Activated King is very clutch, as you guys can see. So, against any Firecracker deck, you always want to activate King as early as possible because it's just going to be so useful when you have quite a lot to defend. Uh, like, that interaction wouldn't have gone so cleanly if it didn't have the activated king i don't think but still nice skeletons to kite the e-barbs over into my knight that i cycled for the ghost early on now i've actually outcycled the e barb so i think i can go in if he goes ram rider i can go tesla goes ram let me just ice spirit to reset the charge then i'll go for my evo knight um ram is gonna jump and that's gonna lock on the tower actually i honestly could have fireballed that just to get even more damage but i feel like it's best just to play super safe and defend plus tesla will help out against this mother witch pretty nice Mother Witch doesn't spawn any pigs. All skeletons in the middle, and it's kind of annoying that that firecracker is, like, there, because it's not really allowing me to go for much. Also, my dogs are going absolutely ballistic in the background. I hope you guys can't hear that, but, oh my god, they're going crazy. I think we got a delivery or something. Um, Jesus Christ. Okay, anyways, back to the match. I'll go knight for the push in the left. Oh my god, that, like... You guys can probably hear, I guess, if... I don't know how well the mic will pick it up, but... I'll expo the left, because I have a huge counter push coming down. I can just uh, log... And he goes ram. That's a really big mistake, because now expo's on tower. That's going to be a good game. I'm not going to take too much damage from this. Like, I'll take quite a bit. Okay, it does charge. But, I mean, it's, the expo's on tower. Like, it's already over. And I was still able to survive. So I knew if I sacked some damage in the right, I would be able to get something. And he goes evil firecracker, but a little too late. So, nice win against bridge spam. Alright guys, so next match against Kosero, we are one off 8800 now, so doing pretty well, gonna give him the good luck, he's from Kurdish family, gonna split archers, and uh, see what he wants to go for here, I think the level gap, okay, goes for barbs first, but I think the level gap should slowly decrease as we go higher up, um, but I don't have full max cards anyway, so... Yeah, like, I don't really expect to go against full max decks. I'm just gonna fireball that, because that's just a fireball. He goes for zap as well, but that's gonna be a dead witch. Look at this trick, guys. Look at the barbs out of expo range. Skeletons to catch the barb barrel. Beautiful interaction. That's gonna be pretty much half tower down. Might be a good game already. I don't know what this deck is with barbs, witch, barb barrel, um, zap. But, I mean, this is a good start. Anyway, whenever... I don't know why, like, split barbs in the back first play before you even know what your opponent has. It's honestly such a low-skill play, like, with all due respect. Um, I guess you could say the same for archers. Okay, he goes for a night witch. I'm just going to expo on the right. Because uh, if he's play, if he's playing, like, golem, then he can't really get a golem down in time. I feel like it might be... Well, I don't know, actually. He has double witches. That's one thing. Um, also, it's... He does defend the expo, but I mean... Oh, he has a giant. Wow. But thankfully, the archer locks onto the night witch. So that's going to be a dead night witch. I'm not going to go skeletons, guys, because I know he has some kind of spell. Yep, there it is. So I'm actually just going to go archers late. So that's a important little thing I did there. Because I know, like, you know, all these decks, they have, like, zap, or they have, like, snow ball arrows whatever i think he already uses zap right and he did he i knew he had like something else in the pocket so i was waiting for him to go for the arrows then i would go for either my skeletons or my archers and b just because of that small little detail you know i didn't really get early dps but i was able to get overall dps in the end because my archers obviously stayed alive um goes for night witch and i'm at seven so that's gonna mean i'm down about two and a half elixir i was at like seven and a half so i'm just gonna chill tussle the middle full defend uh i don't really want to expo when i'm down elixir so you know, it just is how it is. And I don't really know what this deck is. Like, giant double witches, I guess. Looks kind of annoying. I'm going to expo the left. Oh, as he goes for a witch. So, he's at five elixir right now. Goes giant two. Really interesting giant placement. Like, really far off to the side. But I'll knight archers early. You just get to work DPSing this down. He can go arrows if he wants. I'll log as well. That might be tower down. Gonna do skeletons to catch the barbarrel again. Important thing, guys. It might seem really minor, but perfectly catching barbarrel is something I do almost all the time. And something that is so important in any kind of matchup because you just get more out of your expos if you do that gonna split archers half for the left half for the right because he's looking like he's trying to split lane push 
It also didn't get to finish my point, but I really feel like Split Barb's first play, like, it's only become good because of Evo Barb's being OP, but it's, like, such a low, like, it's five licks in the back, like, I guess it's safe, it covers both lanes, but if they ever go for that against me, I just expo, honestly, because they're down five. Um, what, he's playing Giant Graveyard? Okay, I will Ice Spirit Archers for the Graveyard. He has arrows in cycle, but he probably can't get them down in time. Yeah, Giant's already dead, so that's gonna be GG. He didn't really get to build up a single Giant Graveyard push. He gives a well-played. I did play it pretty well. Didn't really let him go for a single big Giant Graveyard push, but yeah, I'll give him the good luck just to be a good sport. You know, he was a good sport, too. But yeah, that's crazy that was Giant Graveyard, guys. I had no idea, honestly, after seeing, like, the double witches. Like, I just didn't know what it was. Like, some kind of mid-ladder deck, I guess. But Giant Graveyard with Barbarrel Arrows, Night Witch. I guess we take that. Very nice win against kind of a tough matchup. Alright, guys. Into our match against Dan. We are actually not at 8.8k. We are 3 off, which is kind of unfortunate, but it's fine. Um, I'm gonna go for two more wins, I think, guys, to close the video out. I'm gonna test it for the pigs. I hope this isn't real recruits, because that would be... Such a pain, actually. Like, really annoying matchup. We will see, though. Tesla will do pretty good uh, at defending that. Gonna slip my archers in the back and just see what he has. If he goes... Oh, he goes recruits. Of course he has recruits. I'll expo the left. So it is gonna be real recruits for real hogs, unfortunately. But because he went recruits, if you do go expo like that, uh, you can actually get a lock if they don't play anything in front. And if they do play anything in front, it makes it harder for them to break through because it just kind of dies to the expo. Uh, but this should be a pretty easy defense. I can go Ice Spirit for these. Okay, sadly, one skeleton goes wrong lane. So I'm going to take some chip in the right. Uh, if that skeleton stayed, I might have not taken any hits, but I'll take like two hits, I think. So, okay, one stab. It's actually not bad considering I'm up like 1.6k damage. But yeah, I'm down like four elixir because he went Zappies and I was at like six. So again, you know, very common elixir counting trick. Like just... They play something in the back like that, it probably means they're at 10. And so, you should, like, use that relative to your elixir, just to find out, you know, how much you're down. Anyway, he goes for the arrows. I'm gonna have to go... I wanna save skeletons for the firecracker, but... Oh, actually, I have Ice Spirit next up in cycle, so I can actually go skeleton. It took me, like, half a second for my brain to, like, process that I was able to cycle back to the Ice Spirit, but we do get an activation. That's gonna be very helpful, guys, against recruits, because obviously, you know, it's gonna be a ton of spam just on my side of the board, and he does have to let the Ice Spirit connect, because he didn't really have anything good in cycle. Um... I'm a bit worried because he has evil recruits in cycle. Wait, does he have evil recruits or evil firecracker? I'm actually not sure. I'm going to expo the left, guys, because he went prince the back. He's at five. He's going to be at six elixir right now, which means he does not have enough for the recruits in time. Very important elixir counting skill. I'll explain more on that later. Just going to focus on this defense first because I really want to get a lock. Skeletons for the goblin brawler, and he shouldn't have enough recruits in time. Yep, because he played too much, and that's going to be a good game because... Uh, he doesn't really have anything. Let me just defend the right real quick. But yeah, basically, guys, the principle there, it's same as, like, Golem or anything. Like, you know, recruits cost seven. You basically have to know the elixir of every card in the game, but once you do, it can help you do a lot of tricks. So Prince the back in single, he's at five, which means he won't have enough for recruits in time because you don't get enough, you don't get two elixir in the time an expo comes down, right? So he had to go Goblin Cage, then his cycle was all messed up. You know, he was down Elixir, he couldn't really do anything. I think he actually gave up, so he just made Recruits, Royal Hogs give up. Although it wasn't Eva Recruits, it was Eva Firecracker. Um, but still, you know, Royal Recruits, Royal Hogs. Uh, pretty nice win against this kind of matchup, I would say. But yeah, basically, it all came down to that principle um, where he went Prince the back. He probably should have gone, like, Goblin Cage the middle. That would have been a much safer play. So just kind of punish the Prince because he didn't have enough for recruits again. Even if he had either recruits, he still wouldn't have been able to get them down in time. So same principle applies. And that was able to get me a nice win against, oh, Fireball Arrows. Not even a good matchup, honestly, but we definitely take that. Alright guys, into our final match against Mugi Yoto if I win this one. So far, haven't lost any. And as I said, just the... Games aren't too bad. Like, I, I really feel like maybe it's just me, but it really doesn't feel too hard. Like, it feels a bit easy compared to Path of Legends, at least, but uh, on Trophy Road. But we'll see how we get this match. So, just gonna split my skeletons back. Archers. See what Mugi Yoto wants to do. He has E Spirit so far. I don't really know what that's gonna mean. Um. I'll expo just because he's not playing anything. Like, honestly, why not? E Spirit Log Exe. Okay, I really don't know what this is, to be honest. Like, this is some weird, really weird deck. Um. Okay, Goblin... What? Okay, Goblin Giant. I'm just gonna Tesla Knight. Kind of have to. Because uh, Goblin Giant is so broken right now, guys. Like, they they buffed its HP by, like, 6%. And it's been literally everywhere. Not only on ladder, but also in global tourneys, in GCs. Like, Boss came first in the last GT. And no disrespect to Boss. He's a good friend of mine. Um, I really respect him as a player as well. But uh, he is very good at Goblin Giant. And, you know, he wasn't really, like, getting number ones. 
And obviously, if you are that good at the deck, you can get number one uh, if the deck is really strong. And honestly, it is really strong. Like, Goblin Giant is just really good, but obviously, I'm happy for him. Uh, but I'm just saying, like, also on ladder, like, it was everywhere. Like, it was just a really overpowered deck. And it still kind of is, because it hasn't actually been balanced, obviously. Okay, uh, nice, he didn't get back to the exit, so that's just, you know, single elixir pressure. Also, just going to take this fireball real quick, because Ewis should go in front. Yup, don't, don't think I have to respond. I hope I don't have to respond to that Eggsy, and... Okay, I should have gone Skeletons. I'm going to take two hits, but it's fine. Um, but yeah, Goblin Giant's literally everywhere, guys. Like, even on uh, top ladder, you know, no disrespect to these guys. There were people who finished very high without Evos, which I do respect. But they were all... Like, almost all of them are playing Goblin Giant Sparky, which... It's just really good in the meta, and it's also just a really good deck. Like, Goblin Giant, literally, with that 6% HP buff, is so strong. So, they're... In fact, like, there were even decks that were Goblin Giant, no Sparky. I think that's what boss finished number one with. I watched his YouTube video. It was a really good video. Um, but, like, it's just crazy, I guess. Like, you know, like, the point where Goblin Giant decks don't even need a Sparky. Like, I know there's that one Goblin Giant Double Prince deck, but, like, just a Goblin Giant Rage deck, because Goblin Giant is so good. Anyway, this is a free expo and probably a good game, because he just spent his entire Elixir Bar on that push. Okay, XZ does go. I'll just log it to get it retargeted onto the Knight. Nice log. And now, like, th this definitely should be GG. Gonna Archers for the e -Wiz. Yep. And now, he can poison if he wants all night for anything, I guess, like Esprit or something. But that's going to be a huge lock, and that is going to be a good game, because there's no way he's going to break through. Like, he doesn't really have a great deck, honestly. And I'll just Debo, uh, anti-poison, of course, to my right side tower, so he can't get poison value on my right HP tower and the Expo. Uh, or lower HP tower, rather, which is the right side. Ice Spirit for all of this. Mini P.E.K.K.A. is not going to get a swing, thankfully. Oh, I actually should have gone Knight to activate King, I think. But it's fine, I'll Expo just to go in. Um, he goes for an Eggsy, that's fine. All Archers and Log actually just pressure, because if he doesn't respond in time, like, that will be a good game. Actually, it is still a good game. That's a big lock. And, I mean, once again, he is going to survive, but, like, it is literally over. Like, he's struggling so much to just hold on. Archer gets two hits as well. Yeah, that's going to be two Fireballs. I'll just go for the first Fireball right now, and then I can just get my Evo Knight down. Uh, like, one final defense, but it's going to be so easy. Like, Evo Knight's also so broken, honestly. Ice Spirit to hold everything in place. Archer, Skeletons for the Mini P.E.K.K.A. Like, beautiful micro defense and also just really not a hard deck to defend against just gonna be back to fireball i honestly could just defend for the next minute okay he gives a good game i'll give it back i won't prolong the match to bm him but i was gonna say if he d if he still wants to try i honestly could just defend just to show you guys how i would defend but i'm sure you can tell like that's really not a hard matchup because they only have poison like they can't really kill stacked archers if you go defensive x-way to bait at the poison there's, there's so much you can abuse in that matchup but that's going to be 8851 trophies i think so really nice let me also collect all my rewards i get a ton of stuff you know legendary wild card and we're almost at legendary arena yep it, it five one but look at this guys like honestly it's not that okay rakan is lower than me um it's not that hard to get 9k like everyone is getting there already like all my friends literally all of them uh, Gems, Best in A, uh, Ian, Jax, Mohammed Light, of course. Like, everyone is already at 9k. Like, you can just see the sheer amount of people at 9k there. But, you know, it's still a nice achievement, I guess. And I know, like, everyone still wants to grind. Like, look at this. Riley, okay, on his other account, I guess. Yep, there's a 9k. Rakan, oh, we already looked at him. Sandbox, oh, he's not. But Pedro, okay, I really thought Pedro would be. Morton, yeah, definitely Morton would be at 9k. Like, everyone is at 9k is my point. Like, or everyone who cares about it, at least. Because it's not that hard, I'd say. But, you know, I'm still pretty happy. One episode away from getting 9k itself, guys. So, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Probably a bit before I do the next one, just because I like to separate my series a bit. But, as you guys can see, all straight wins. Very nice wins overall. That's going to be it for the video. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Good luck on your Trophy Road ladder push. Take care, and I will see you in the next one.